Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXD Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So we've looked at the men and the possibilities for Akeem Blake. Now let's take a look at our woman and we have two entrants here. We have Sasha Lee Forbes and we have Brianna Williams. So now we're going to be looking at the possibilities that lie ahead for our Jamaicans. And of course, it's going to be a tough challenge to make it on to the medal table because one, we have a lot of really, really good um women available this season in the 60 meters that will be taking part at the world indoor championships as a matter of fact all of the best athletes so far this season save you know a couple in the higher a region of the um seven point um zeros right our seven point o's will not be taking part but as it stands now all of the lower tier athletes as it relates to 702 701 699 they'll all be at the war indoor championship so with that said let's take a look at the field again as i said and Let's talk about what um, lies ahead for our Jamaican athletes. As I said, Brianna Williams will be available taking part and also Shasha Lee Forbes. So far this season, indoors that is, Shasha Lee has run 7.11 seconds as the fast as she has gone indoors. And Brianna has only taken part indoors once and she has run a 7.25 seconds. Now with that said, they do have times outdoors, but I really want to focus on the indoor performances obviously to match what indoors has been happening elsewhere for other athletes right so when you look at that julian alfred so far this season you know tied second fastest all time 6.94 but so far this season at 6.99 seconds right now when I think about a Julian Alfred, I'm honestly thinking, Chuck, is that this is Julian Alfred's time for herself, for St. Lucia, to, you know, bring home their first medal. I don't know if this is the first medal ever <laughs> for St. Lucia. I'm thinking it's probably the first medal ever for St. Lucia, is it? possibly right so with that said track is i think it's that moment for julian alfred to really put saint lucia on the map and walk away with this gold medal no julian alfred has struggled in the past and even recently she has talked about her struggle still mentally when she gets out of the block she says sometimes she doesn't get the best start because she's had issues with a false start already she keeps replaying in her mind that you know what, I first started at the World Championships and I was thrown out in 2022. So with that said, it plays on her mind somewhat, you know, even to this day. So with that said, hopefully she doesn't allow that to play in on, on her mind this time around and she just executes her best race. I believe if she executes her best race, then she will definitely find herself on the podium and potentially again walking away with that gold medal. As I said, I believe it's her time to put St. Lucia on the map. This is definitely her event. This is one of her stronger events when you look at, you know, the bigger scheme of things globally. We talk about medaling. You look at the 100 meters, you, th you throw in a whole slow girls that are running 10 and faster then it kind of reduces her chances of winning a medal but when it comes to the 60 meters indoor she's the best of the best as it stands right now so with that said definitely her opportunity to walk away with a medal in my opinion Iwa Swoboda has gone into championships as well as the favorite and you know it just never materialized for her let's see if on the back of the 7.01 seconds Eva Swoboda is able to you know walk away um with a much better performance than she's done in the past now she's been re running really good this season especially with her face-offs against um Zanab Dosso right they've been running you know back and forth i don't want to say back and forth they've been running um together consistently and you know eva has been getting the better of her does so right now is at 7.02 seconds so far this season so she's another solid athlete as well but does it looks like she's you know ready and raring to go will it be enough to get onto the medal table that will be that's going to be the interesting factor again yeah some of these athletes that struggle mentally with performing on the highest level one julian has struggled because of her false start and two um he was so border has it literally faltered on this is her pet event you would say you know what i mean and you know has not turned up on the day to win a medal right or to win the gold medal so with that said track is alia hub is also in this race as well 7.2 this season right she's also tied second fastest in the world well second fastest ever let's just say that right so Alia Hobbs is definitely um looking to come into this competition and you know challenge Julian for the win. When I looked at um her performances this season, Alia, she hasn't been getting the best of stars. She's been really running back. 
um, to take that win. So with that said, I am wondering if it's going to be enough to challenge a Julian Alfred that once she gets her start right, is flying and she's gone. And I don't think you, you're going to be able to catch her. You know what I mean? So with that said, um, it's going to be a tough challenge for Aliyah Hobbs. But as it stands right now, um, those are the really top four contenders in my mind when it comes to challenging for you know, uh, one of the three medals. But you look at the likes of Makia Briscoe. She always turns up at championships and performs well. Last time around, I believe she she, she got a silver medal for her efforts so with that said track is she tends to turn up when a championship is on and so far this season she's at a 7.06 so she's not that far behind so she can definitely be in the conversation now when i start to throw in our jamaicans now brianna williams and of course also sasha lee forbes start to think about the times that they've run so far so sasha lee forbes she's at 7.11 seconds so far this season now when i've looked at her against you know quote unquote a Julian Alfred running the 60 meters there was a slight disconnect you would say from you know her pickup speed that's what I'm looking at her pickup speed in the race is not quick enough for that 60 meter distance to you know really getting it and 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 strike while the iron is hot literally because the race is you know done and dusted at the 60 meters so um, it will be interesting to see if she'll be able to get into her running much quicker to figure into the bigger scheme of things but as it stands right now i'm seeing her in the finals once she's in the finals it's anybody's um game let's see what happens when she gets there she's just able to execute a really good race and see where she's able to place as as the rounds progress track is i'll be able to see clearly how our jamaicans are gonna you know figure in the bigger scheme of things now when it comes to brianna um williams again i've talked about her having the ability to you know have her switch literally you know turned on immediately when she gets into a championship she's always done it this has never not happened it happens for her year after year after year when she goes into a championship she has the championship mindset where she knows how to execute her best race so i'm definitely expecting that this time around and expecting her to make it to the finals as well now once there again just like Sasha Lee forbes anybody's um game let's see what happens last time around she was able to run a personal best 7.04 seconds and get into the thicker things unfortunately you know a whole slower girls were tying that 704 and she was out other medals but still a really really strong performance from her let's see what happens this time around when she gets to the championships if she's able to you know navigate um getting into you know any of these top spots can she oust anybody um on the day let us see so check is with that said i've given you my thoughts as it relates to the athletes that are in this field as it stands right now for me leading the pack clearly julian alfred alia hobbs eva soboda and Dosso. they're definitely top of the pack my eye is on makia briscoe because she also turns up and performs well at these 60 meter championships and of course i'm looking out for jamaican athletes as well to be doing their best on the day making it to the finals and taking it from there all right so track is let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about our jamaican girls what will happen with them do you think they stand any chance of meddling like the video of course and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one